On December 21st, Rocket Lab announced a contract to build, deliver, and operate 18 satellites for an undisclosed U.S. government customer. The base amount of this contract is for $498 million, plus incentive and options totaling $26 million, for a total contract value of $515 million. Since announcing this $515 million contract, Rocket Lab's share price has moved from $4.43 to $5.44, with the market cap moving from $2.15 billion to $2.64 billion, an increase of 22.8%. Said differently, the response to this $515 million contract has increased Rocket Lab's market cap by $419 million. Delivery for these satellites is slated for 2027, with operation of the satellites through 2030, and an option to operate the satellites through 2033. I'm assuming that the option to operate the satellites through 2033 would be an additional $26 million. If a contract for 18 satellites provides this kind of a boost to revenue and backlog, imagine what happens when they announce what they're planning with their reaction wheel lines capable of providing between 500 and 1,000 satellites per year. Furthermore, I imagine what happens when they announce their partnership with Am or, uh, other Constellation customers. See what I did there? Next up, let's talk backlog. Launch backlog as of Q3 was $250.7 million. Q4 launch revenue is guided to be for $16.5 million, reflecting two flights. While it's seeming less and less likely with each day that passes that we do get that final launch in Q4, we're just gonna go with the happy medium of $8.25 million for launch revenue in Q4. So if we take that Q3 launch backlog and we subtract Q4 launch revenue, that puts us at the year-end launch backlog of $242.5 million. Now, let's do the same thing with Space Systems. Space Systems backlog as of Q3 was $331.7 million. Q4 Space Systems guidance was for $48.5 to $52.5 million. We're going to go with the mid-range. We're going to land on $49.4 million. So Q3 Space Systems backlog minus recognized Space Systems revenue from Q4, including the US government customer of $515 million. This puts us at the year-end Space Systems backlog of $797.2 million. Finally, let's take the launch backlog plus the Space Systems backlog, put them together, and the total combined backlog for the year-end is... This is a quarter over quarter increase of 71.7% or a year over year increase of 98.8%. So huge congratulations to the Rocket Lab team. Thank you, the viewer, for checking out this video. If you got value from it, leave a like, leave a comment. Take care of yourself this holiday season and I'll talk to you guys in the new year. Peace.